You're listening to the sounds of Salford from the UK going out to the world. Oh, that's the fifth tackle. And uh, Tompkins. Dobson now. Dobson flings the pass. Griffin. Griffin out the side door and Edwards is in. (laughs) Niall Edwards gets the try. It's right in the corner. Two minutes to go. Edwards with his second of the game. Isn't that incredible? They've looked for Nyla Valls two or three occasions when they go down to the to that left edge. And Griffin does a tremendous job there. That's probably the only defensive error that Mins has made in this game when he shows the outside to that man. And when Nyla Valls gets this ball, he's going to score it. Look at that. Perfect play. He's been forced into that defensive misread as well. Missed conversion by O'Brien, there's still a four-point ball game. As we take a look back at that try, last tackle play, the big booming ball from Dobson from right to left. And then it was uh, Josh Griffin, the stop and the go, and Thomas Mins forced inwards, forced in because of the movements of Griffin. Love the little sort of pass, and then Evolt's crossing in the corner. Penny for his thoughts. What's this set of six going to be like? Off, fellas, yeah. Every minute matters. That was the mantra. They wanted jeopardy. Well, this minute matters. It's Josh, the final Josh. minute of the, the million-pound game, and there's just four Good. points in it between Hull Kingston Rovers and the Salford Red Devils. Rovers supporters are imploring their side Three. to hold no. out. The Salford fans up the other end of the field willing them towards them. Silvery. They're looking for this flank again. They're looking for Evels. They're looking for Evels. They've got Josh Griffin. Griffin has got Evels. Evels cuts in field and it's cut down by Mins. Five seconds to go. It's with O'Brien. It's with Dobson. It's across the field. Here goes the Hooter. The pass was forward, surely. It's with Johnson. Johnson in the corner. Johnson for the Salford Red Devils. Can't believe it. The Southland supporters cannot believe it. The Rovers supporters can't believe it. Goes to extra time now. If they miss this kick, it goes to extra time. And if you look at the players, the whole team are players, they're not shell shocked. They're absolutely shell shocked. We're a Southland. How they pull that out of the back. The goal to a man in the final stages was Josh Griffin. The try scorer is now the man. He knows he's going to play the ball as quick as he can because Hulkin and the defenders are all coming around the run. They go into where the gap was. And then this long ball from Brad Flanagan. It's a good pass and that's a great finish, Wellesley. It's a lot of work done. To see the reaction of the Salford fans who charge the field as Johnson knocked his ball down. I think mean, they'll look at the last three or four minutes and you look at the contribution of Josh Griffin. Who will have pleased that man no end? What pressure on Gareth O'Brien. This to keep Salford in Super League. And consign Hawkins to Rovers to the championship. And O'Brien misses. The Hooter sounds. 18 points apiece. And it's golden points extra time. As the uh, coin toss to decide who'll play which way in this golden points extra time. And they will turn around and think now that Gareth O'Brien lining up his conversion. And there you can see the bottle thrown onto the pitch. The soccer players unhappy about that. Absolutely everything into this set of six defensively. Trying to 
come up with a shot. Trying to make that happen. Trying to make sort the play. But they made the mistake. Who would it be? Michael Dobson. Will he return to haunt his former club? He's picked, kicked plenty of drop goals in his career. Terry Cantese. Every second, every decision so important. Salford won the toss and chose to receive possession. Well, I think that answers your question about where, where the momentum lies on. Who feels like they have the momentum? Get the ball in the hands. They've got first shot. First. Move. Was looking for somebody there, and there was nobody on his shoulder, so he took the tackle. Two, and move, Mitch. Rovers will be looking to keep to to this end of the field. Don Lennon within range. Robert Louis. Ben Bradfordsilla. Keep trying. Come on, that left edge. Championship. Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to Straight from the Fans Mouth with Dennis Robbins Riley. How are you, train boy? <laughs> <laughs> train boy, now, am I? Yeah. Train boy. Yeah, nah, I'm all right, mate. How are you? So, mate. But are we'll you talk, so? We'll oh, talk, we'll talk about that in a bit, won't we? This way, I've had to, you've had to come to this studio today. I know, I studio know. too. Yeah, I don't know. It's no good, that is Can't it. what, mate. I know, mate. <laughs> like you shit your pants. <laughs> oh, again. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> right, let's get that one out of the way. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. um, yeah Halifax yesterday. Um, Salford 13, Halifax 6. Um, you asked me before, what did, I, what did you think of the game? To be fair, I don't think Salford wanted to be there. Well, in a way, not in a disrespectful yeah. way. It was like going through the motions. It was like you know, like a warm up game. I mean, I know yeah. it's a friendly, and and people look at these as warm up games, but you you know, it's rugby in it, and anything can happen. You know, bad tackles, etc. Uh, I just felt I felt like Salford look um, as, as though they couldn't be bothered, mate. Like you, a bit lethargic. You know, yeah, lethargic. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's like come on, let's get this over with and, and yeah. get over. I get that. I get what you're saying there. And like I say, I was at the game and all that. But I thought, I thought to myself, Halifax played well. I think well, they punched a bit above the weight. I and think, Salford weren't on top form. It, it was very similar to the London game. I know, I know. You know, last look, season. Look, you can't read into the friendlies, but what you got to read into <coughs> Halifax is that that's our other club this year, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously, them boys who were playing there want to impress Ian Watson, yeah, you know, because yeah. they might get a shout in at exactly, Salford. Exactly, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? So obviously, they're going to be, they're going to be up for it. Um, and you know, to uh, prove a point at their level of rugby, you know, you know, to say, hey, we, you know, we, we want Super League status ourselves, but I want to play in Super League. And if if you're a player for Halifax, you're going to give it 110. percent Well, you? I was impressed with that one and say, I've got to admit, you know, yeah. Well, I, I, I thought Salford's oh, yeah, player, uh, Dobbo played well for Salford. His kicking and his chasing down was uh, superb. Yeah. You know, but I, I mean, I. <laughs> I don't I've, really I, look into them, Sam. No. A lot of people look into them as all like a lot of people will be going, Oh, 13 6 against them. I know, it's not about that, is no, it? No, no, it's I mean? not. It's I mean, about having a run out and It's getting the, the feel of the ball again, getting that, that team uh, yeah. morale going a bit uh, and everything. Wouldn't like this day look to be anything like team morale to me, mate. It's just like a professional job, let's go there, let's do it and let's get home, basically. That's how Well, it, they got the win, didn't they? You know, and when you're taking a drop goal <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, to beat them right at the end. I mean, there was a lot of ch- uh, chopping and changing with players, and, and I'm not all for that, me, Sam. I'm not into that, I'll be honest yeah. with you, mate. I, I'd i rather them uh, <laughs> give the first half to one and then the second half to the other, i.e. unless they're injured. You know, I don't want to see Robbie Louis playing fullback. No, I didn't either. You know what I mean? Oh. I don't want to see Evels in there. You know what I mean? I want to see Evels at fullback if Gaz O'Brien's not there. And, uh, 
you know, people say, yeah, but you're not Robbie Lewis because he's not a fullback. But I'll tell you what, that Brendan continues to impress me. You know, he's yeah, dying I, from I here. Think, I think, the, yeah. And the back, he's, he's going to score some tries in, I'm telling you, mate. Well, he's going to bring a different dimension to the year to Salford next season. Hopefully, mate, hopefully. But, I mean, it's a lot of Salford fans were umming and ahhing yesterday, going on about, you know, but it's, <coughs> excuse me, his chest again. <coughs> it's, it's getting out there and getting the feel of the ball and getting something going again with the boys, but, you know. I thought, tell me, Tazzy had, uh, had a good game as well. well, well I, mean, I, expect, I expect our packs to have good games against yeah, them. Yeah, he was running hard, wasn't he? Yeah, I like it when they run hard, me. He was running hard. And Cop Chucky yeah. impressed me as well. Well, Craig, got, Craig, hard, Craig, Craig's the, the player of the year, mate, and obviously, you know, he, he, that's, that's him, that's what he does best. Carney was having a good game as well, wasn't he? He was making a lot of yardage. I don't think Carney and and uh, Johnson were, were really involved in the game. To be fair, it was. Well, I thought Carney. I think thought everything. Carney. I thought everything was for the middle. To be fair, mate. I thought Carney played. He did right <coughs> until he went well, off. He went off, and there's no there's no worries about Carney. I had a oh, text yeah. off him and that, so there's no worries. Don't start then. Name dropping. dropping. Leo. 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 There's, there's one. Leo. There's, there's one. one. I'm going to count up during the show. <laughs> there's one. There's yeah. one. Yeah, but I mean, overall, I mean, I think it was Jake Bibby who got injured, the poor I don't know what yeah. it is or what the extreme is to it. Um, Dobbo got a little bit of a, a a pull or whatever, but I'll give him a text in a bit, see how he is, you know two. what I mean? That's that two. That's two, yeah. <laughs> What's it impressed me as well? Wood. Yeah. He yeah. impressed me and Wilkinson. They, they, they are, oh, they're going to because well. the young lads aren't they, mate, and they're a bit hungry for the game, yeah. and they're out there. They've got to impress, haven't they, basically? Do yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They're knocking on the door for the other players, so... You know, all in all, it was a professional performance. Yeah, that's it. And that's you know. the way you got to look at friendlies, because friendlies... Of course, I mean, is anyone... At the end of the season, friendlies don't count. No one says, oh, we got beat off them this year at the end of the season. If we was to get to the grand final or to the challenge... No one remembers friendlies. No one is bothered about the friendlies. I mean, look, what... But you've got to remember this. we played two friendlies. We've won two friendlies. Well, look, so the, the bad thing about these friendlies is that, is that Big Ben's out for ten weeks, mate, and that's, that's you know that's that in it because exactly. he, he was colossus in that know, when, uh, pound game. That's that's the thing. What, what happens when you play these unfortunate low division clubs, especially the likes of Rochdale? I thought Halifax were more professional yesterday. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Than Rochdale, Rochdale was all right. Rochdale lads were there to just uh, smash us up and uh, you know what I mean, try and make a name for themselves. Yeah. So you know, I'll tell you what else impressed me at Halifax. What the pie and peas. The pie and peas. The pie and peas was all right, though, wasn't it? Although the chips and curry wasn't, it ended up dumping. I've got a little bit of a gripe with Halifax. I what? don't get serving beer at three o'clock when it's kickoff time. They served it, or they wouldn't. They won't serve it till oh, three o'clock. Why would they not? Well, I don't get that. Well, I don't either. Is it because they're from Halifax and they're backward? Be... I don't know, it's cold up there, wasn't it? I know, but what's, I don't get it. You're there to watch rugby and you want to watch rugby with a pint, so you got to queue up at three o'clock when the game's Cues on. Queues was massive as well. Even the it? steward, when I was talking to him about it, was confused. I don't was believe it. it. Yeah, you know, they had to answer for it. He's just come from yeah. upstairs, some knobhead yeah. upstairs, you know what I mean? Oh, let's serve beer at three o'clock so, you know, no one's in the ground but queuing up for a pint. I get that, mate. Great yeah, logic, isn't it? Yeah, but anyway, I think what I was uh, happy overall and... Uh, you know, it is what it is, and we take on Hull at home this mm. Sunday. Welcome home, uh, Josh Griffin. I hope the fans give him a, a you know a good round of applause. And well, we've know. got a message for you, Josh. Off there. We have in a bit, haven't we? Yeah, off there, there, kid. George, there, George. Yeah. yeah, he sent him a nice message, haven't we'll, we'll put it on the show in a bit. Yeah, we'll put it on. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the home game, mate. Hopefully, yeah. see a lot of people down there, and you know, this will be, I'd say, an half decent test for us because I don't think all yeah. we'll, FC we'll are going to go all yeah, blazing, blazing and. We're going to go, but they'll be more professional mannered about the game, won't they? And, yeah. and hopefully, you know, we, we can. I mean, all you have to do is look at yesterday's game when Lee played Wigan and they put 50 past Wigan. Well, exactly. You know people I mean? are going to so, read into that. Is, no. is everyone going to back Lee to win the league now in the travel? Do you know what I mean? They're not, are they? So no, it's just no. it's just one of them, isn't it? You know, and like I just said before, mate, I'm I not into losing to Catalan, didn't he, as well? Yeah. Pop. I'm, not, I'm not into all this swapping, changing everything because for me, it does no good for anyone. It does, it, I don't see, no disrespect to Ian or whatever, any coach in the world, but I don't see. What benefit you get swapping everyone every five minutes just to give them a run out? I'd rather play one half with one team, second yeah. half with the other team, mm. and then any injuries or knocks or what you know what I mean. Yeah, can, then then, then swap, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> then swap. That's mean. that's that's how I look at it. And that's how I, you know what I mean. But swapping everyone five because it does your team no good because everyone's unsettled. You know you're supposed to be here, you're supposed to be there, and it just it just 
it's not. It, it didn't look professional that for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. But a win's a win, and uh, it's yeah, first we'll trophy. It's, uh, it's our first trophy of the season. Well, let's hope there's many more to come. Well, as long as you get two, you're not going to go and final and a challenge cup.